my tow vehicle, the 2005 Envoy. It doesn't have a backup camera. Um, and generally it's myself that's setting all of this up. So I'm going to show you how I back the Envoy up to the camper um, with just myself. And as you can see on here, we already have one of the tennis balls attached, ready to go. So with this, you just end up making the tennis balls connect together and that's when you know that you're essentially ready to start dropping the camper onto the ball. We are going to attach the weight distributing hitch to the tow vehicle. So you are going to raise the camper up so that it will be easier for the sway bars to engage onto the camper. And you can hear it click and get secure. I've found that it's um, that it clicks and engages much easier if you have the actual sway bar pointed towards the front of the vehicle. Now we put the little side locking pieces on. We can now lower the camper to where it's fully resting on, on the tow vehicle and the hitch. And now we're going to take these and attach the chains to our tow vehicle. And this is where we use our Kurt Echo wireless brake controller. And it plugs into our 7 pin. Now, we will 
test the lights and set the profile for the Kurt Echo on this camper. Essentially ready to tow the camper. This is what the Kurt Echo looks like plugged in. You just plug it into your seven pin and then you plug your camper's seven pin into it. You will also see the little light that tells you that it's powered and connected via the uh, phone app for the brake controller to work. And as you can see, camper's sitting pretty level. I need to put the jack stand up and we'll be ready to pull the camper off.